Hi everybody, this is Lorraine with Chat and Craft with Lorraine Tierney and I'm jumping on just to give you directions on how to make this cute little treat bag. Okay, this is what we're making today. It's adorable, I think you'll really like it and hopefully you'll have everything you need to make it at home already. It won't require a special order for anything to make. So let's get started. You can see I have some Hershey Kisses in here and it does stand up. You could put it on your table. You could put it on somebody's desk. It's really cute, okay? So you're gonna start with a piece of cardstock that is seven and a half by four and a half. And we're gonna do just a little bit of scoring on it. I'm going to score it with the long side at the top, and I'm going to score it at one, two, and six. One, two, and six. That's all we need to do for scoring. And then there's just three pieces of DSP that you need. And all these measurements are in, um, are in the email. They're there for you. Okay, so this is kind of how it goes, just like that. So I have a piece that is um, one and a quarter by four and a quarter, and that's gonna go on the top. I'm going to use my liquid glue for that. And this is a piece of paper from one of the host, big mega host sets of paper that you can get. I believe it's the one in the annual catalog. A little edge there that I don't like that I'm going to try to tuck under. There we go. Okay. And then I have a little piece for down here that is three quarters by four and a quarter. And I stamped it with the word grateful from the cottage wreath dies, this one right here. And I just did that in um, early espresso. And this paper, this other piece of paper is from the He's the Man suite. This is one of my favorite pieces. I just love this neutral side with the little design on it. And I have a piece of that to go in the back here also. And this is um, three and three quarters by four and a quarter. But I said, like I said, I'll give you all of those dimensions. And I chose these colors and these papers specifically to match my Hershey Kisses, because this is what I could find for Hershey Kisses. Okay, so then the only other thing uh, that you really need, oh, let's finish decorating this. I do have a couple other things. I cut out um, a couple of the smaller leaves with the let me show you with the Aspen tree dies. So I got these dies free during celebration, but you can um, purchase these also on the web. So I just used um, this little leaf for two leaves. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Um, and so I'm gonna glue those onto the top. And it's, I find it easier to decorate all this um, before you put your lumpy candy in it. Usually I use a glue dot for, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, excuse me, my allergies have been horrible. Usually I use a glue dot for this uh, twine. This is just the linen or linen thread, but I forgot to bring one over here. So I'm gonna use a little glue and just hold it there for a second. And then I'm gonna put a couple of these brushed metallic uh, dots on there. And I 
think I'll do a couple of the brass ones. You can see I like those brass ones a lot. And a couple of the copper ones. One over here. And I think one over there. Okay, so that's all decorated. Now we need um, one of the clear envelopes. So these envelopes are in the annual catalog. They're in a tiny little box with the um, regular envelopes. And I'm gonna grab my catalog and I'm gonna show you those because they are so hard to find. Hopefully it won't take me too long to find them. But they're not, uh, they're not as easy as you would think. Like here's other cellophane bags and window sheets, but they're not there. They're over here on page 137 with the regular medium vanilla and the medium white envelopes. These are clear envelopes. That's just my teapot, not a smoke alarm or anything else. Um, and you get 50 of them for $6. They're great for protecting your cards. And they're also good for some of these um, projects. So what we're gonna do is open that up and I'm gonna take a handful of these Hershey Kisses. These have fall colors. There's a um, bluish greenish color and a pumpkin pie color and a soft suede kind of color in there. And I'm gonna put Oh, a fair amount in that. It'll be hard to open it up once you put this together, so kind of make sure you're satisfied with what you have in there. And then I'm going to cut a little bit off of the top of this bag, maybe about an inch. So a little bit more than under that flap. And then I'm gonna fold those corners in a little bit in some place. Okay, I have some seal. I'm gonna put a little bit of seal on each of those corners and fold it over and in a little bit. You could just use, if I had um, just regular scotch tape, I could also use that. The top edge of that is not gonna show. It's gonna be under your um, little flap here. Okay, I just don't like it to stick out wider than my base. And I like um, my candy to rest on the bottom. I don't want it to be hanging. Okay, so I'm getting it to rest on the bottom. And now I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive, the, um, the snail right there. Stand it up again, put that on there. And now I'm gonna put some on the top and then close it right there. And then believe it or not, we are done. It's a little bit tricky because of those lumps there but I find it easier to decorate. There you go. And that is your little treat bag that you hopefully have everything in your possession to make. Okay, and those stand up pretty well. I have a slightly different angle. I have more candy in this one, and I think it's pulling it forward a little bit. Maybe just the way I adhered that on is a little bit different, but um, either way, it's really cute and really easy to make, and I hope you will give it a try. You could decorate these for a birthday party, for Christmas, uh, for your office mates. They are the same size. Uh, just look a little bit different because of the way the candy is in them. I actually like it better when it stands back like that a little bit. But either way. All right, enjoy. <laughs> 